this is cash flow statement 2021 a level paper 2 question which is the question number 5 b part so here in this question required the cash flows from operating activities for the year ending 31st 3 2021 under each of the following methods so in this question they are not asking the full format of the cash flow statement they need only the operating activities using direct method and indirect method so when it comes to the direct method there is a format here we write cash received from trade receivables cash paid to trade payables cash paid for operating expenses then interest paid tax paid so this interest paid tax paid and this latter part is common for the indirect method as well so the direct method these three entries are very important so to get these answers we have to open up small t accounts so here I'm going to open up 5T accounts because we, all these 5 values I have to calculate by using a T account. So they have given trade receivable, trade payables, opening and closing balances. The balances as at 31st 3, 2021, those are the closing balances. 31st 3, 2020, those are the opening balances. When you look in at the trade receivable, opening balance is 6,000. So the BF to the debit 6,000, CD to the credit 5,200. When you look in at the trade receivable account, there are four entries that you have to include in a trade receivable. Without those four, you can't complete this T account. So that is opening balance, closing balance, cash amount, and the sales amount. Opening balance, closing balance, cash, and sales. So out of these four, you can get the sales amount from the given income statement entries. Sales, 25,000, under additional information they have mentioned, all sales and purchases are made on credit basis. So the whole 25,000 is on credit, trade receivable account debit. When we balance this account, you get a missing figure to the credit. That is the amount you receive from trade receivables. So when you receive money, it's an inflow. That is why in the format we write 25,800 without brackets because it's an inflow. Just like the same way we have to calculate how much is the amount you paid for the trade payable for the creditors. By looking at the trade payable opening and closing balances, opening balance to the credit side 4,250. CD to the debit, which is a closing balance, 3,500. But in your income statement entry, they haven't mentioned purchases amount. But they have given a clue, the cost of sales. So according to the format, when you remember the cost of sales to calculate the cost of sales, Cost of sales equals opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. So here they have given the cost of sales 15,000. Opening inventory, you can get it from the opening and closing balances 1,800. Closing inventory value 2,004. So by substituting everything, you can get the purchases amount 15,600. This is the amount you have transferred to the trade payable account credit side. Then when we balance the account, missing figure is the amount you paid 
to trade payables. So when you paid it, it's an outflow. Cash pay to trade payables, 16,350 outflow. Then when it comes to operating expenses, they have given some additional information. Number two, they say, the financial expenses entirely consist of interest expenses and it relates to operating activities. Number three, the operating expenses include depreciation of 1,800. So when you take here the value, you have to exclude depreciation, but you can't straight away enter the value because there are some prepaid operating at the beginning and end. So you better to open up a T account. At the beginning, the BF prepaid operating expenses 200. It's an asset, so the balance is to the debit. Carried down to the credit 500. When it comes to the profit or loss value, the given profit or loss value is in your profit or loss statement values, they have given operating expenses 4,800. From this, we have to subtract depreciation because depreciation we consider as a non-cash item. When it comes to a depreciation, there is no cash involvement. So the, in this cash flow statement, we have to think only cash inflows and outflows. So that is why from 4,500, we have to remove depreciation because it's a non-cash item. Ultimately, when you take the value is 2,700, when we balance the account, missing figure is cash. That is the actual amount you have paid for operating expenses. Cash paid for operating expenses, 3,000 outflow. For the interest paid and tax paid also, we need to open up T accounts. Because in these balances, they have given accrued interest expense and income tax payable. Accrued interest expense at the, at the beginning, 650. At the end amount is 400. Accrued, it's a liability, so you have to put it onto the credit side. When you're looking at the profit or loss statement, the entries they say in that finance expenses 1,500, the entire amount is interest expense. So that is why profit or loss 1,500, when we balance the account, missing figure is cash. The same way for the tax. Tax payable at the beginning, 450 to the credit side of the tax account, CD to the debit, 300. When you're looking at the balances in the profit or loss statement, profit income tax expense is 1,000. So when you balance again, you get the cash amount of 1,150. Here I have mentioned the interest income also, but the thing is in this sum, opening receivable is a dash, well, dash, there's nothing, but the carried down is 400. And in the additional information number four, they say in other income consists of the following items. Gain on disposal of motor vehicle 800 and the interest receivable on five year fixed deposit 400. So, when you simplify this, there is no cash amount that account balances. So, these are the entries you have to put it into your cash flow statement. Interest paid, tax paid, both are outflows. 
So you get a balance here. Since it's a positive value, we are writing the word net cash flows generated from operating activities. Now, when you do the operating activities using the indirect method also, you have to end up with 3550 But the way of doing is different. The format is different. So when you use this method also, the ultimate value is 3550. I told you previously, interest paid, tax paid, that part is common for both formats. So here the format is, you are starting with profit before tax. We can get it straight away from the question, the answer 5200. You have to add interest expense because here we have to put interest paid value. So the interest expense you are adding and in bottom part you are deducting the paid value. So the interest expense is whether you paid it or not. That is 1,500. They say the finance expenses entirely consist of the interest expense which is 1,005. Apart from that, these two entries, which is the depreciation and gain on motor vehicle, we considered as non-cash items. Depreciation, to get the profit before tax, we have already deducted it. But here we have to calculate the cash flow. That is why we are going to add it back. Gain on motor vehicle disposal. In your profit or loss statement, we have already added up to get the profit before tax. There is no cash involvement. That is why we are deducting. So the depreciation is 1,800 already given the value. Gain on motor vehicle, 800 within bracket. Interest income. Under other income, 400 is included. We have to deduct it because if we make the full format, the amount you are paying for the interest or you are, the amount you are receiving for the interest income, we have to put it under financing activities. Not actually financing, investing activities. Then here, this part is called the working capital adjustment, where we check whether there is an increase or decrease from the opening to the closing balances. When you're looking at inventory, 1,800 to 2,400, the value has gone up by 600. When you're looking at the question, Inventories opening balance is 1,800, but at the end, the value has become 2,004. During the year, the value has gone up by 600 means, in other words, you have paid it. To get inventory, you have to pay cash. That is why it's an outflow. So remember here, Whenever your current asset increases, it's an outflow. Current asset decreases inflow. The opposite of that is a current liability. Current liability increases inflow. Current liability decreases outflow. Trade receivable. Opening balance 6,000. Closing balance, it has gone down by 800. So that is why we write here decrease in trade receivables 800, current asset decreases and inflow. Prepaid operating expenses 200 to 500, the value has gone up by 300. 
again current as it increases outflow. Trade payables, it's a liability. 4250 to 3500, the value has gone down by 750. Current liability decreases, it's an outflow. So get the simplified value 850. These two we have already done, interest paid and tax paid. When you simplify, you will get the same answer.